we are up on uh, up on the moors. We're having a look at the the heather beetle here today, uh, trying to look at the damage it's caused this this year, especially uh, further down on the moor. We've looked uh, the damage that it created last year uh, and the ongoing problems it will cause for the next few years. It will kill off the heather essentially, uh, therefore nutrition, lack of nutrition for for the birds and for uh, the sheep on the on the moor. There's about 80-90% of, of the moor has been affected, or, or the heather dominated areas, yeah, about 80-90% of the moor has been affected. It should be nice and purple, it should be in bloom, um, green, nutritious, but it's, it's not got any of that this year. So, uh, especially with last year as well, there's a lot of knock-on effect. So the larvae um, has come up this last few weeks. Um, the eggs were deposited back in April by the beetle, adult beetles themselves. They've come up now. They're starting to attack the uh, the, the root systems. So here's um, some damaged young heather that's um, taken a lot of damage. Obviously, the last few weeks, the larvae's eaten away at the roots, and it's really lost its condition. The young stuff just doesn't have the root system to sustain keeping alive. Um, it's therefore dried it out and yeah, killed the, killed killed the plant off. Yeah, so what we're doing here is going to shake the heather and this can tell you if there's any larvae in the area uh, and they'll have emerged over this last this last few weeks. This is the larvae. This is the larvae, yeah. Um, and what it'll do is then they will f they've f fed on the plant and you can tell here it's starting to lose condition. It's it's going ginger as if it's it's lost um, some moisture in it. Um, and what they'll do is they will then make it through the winter by going back in emerging as beetles back next spring and, and, and laying their eggs and to reproduce again. The chicks, the, the, the adult birds going into winter won't have the nutrition, they don't have the young, the young food that they want to feed on normally. It's not there for them so therefore birds are going to be in, in, in less good a condition going into winter which therefore could be knock on effect for next year. In good North York Moors alone last year there was just around about 200 days driven shoot. I think there will be you could be something as little as a fifth of that this year. You could be maybe 40, 40, 30, 40, 50 days.